Hi guys, I am back with another video, and as you can see here, I've got the new Star Slinger Stamp Polish Collection from Bundle Monster. They've just come out with two different neon stamping polish collections. Um, the other one is um, like Man of War or something like that. I can't I can't think of it right now, but um, like I said, this is the Star Slinger Slinger Collection, and I did show this in my recent haul and asked you guys, you know, what you would like to see me review first and this was by far the most requested item so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all six polishes today and we will see how they stamp over white and black so first I'm gonna run through all of the colors as you can see there is a more fuchsia -y shade of pink like a more purpley pink and then uh, like an orangey red like a neonish red color a bright yellow a bright green a beautiful bright blue and then a plummy shade of purple and on camera they are coming off pretty close to how they look in real life. The green and the yellow look a little bit lighter on camera than these are in real life though. But I'm going to start with the first one and this is called Psychedelic Stereo. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit. So this pink one right here is Psychedelic Stereo. The orangey pink one is Quasar. This gorgeous bright yellow is Etronica. This gorgeous lime green is Opus One, I think is how you say that. The blue is Cosmic Latte. And finally, the purple is Lunar Lines. So those are the six colors. Let me go ahead and grab out a plate, and I'll meet you back to do the stamping. Okay, so for the swatches, I'm going to be using this Bundle Monster plate, which I also showed in my haul. And this is one of the blogger collaboration plates that Bundle Monster did, and this is the one with Nail Stamp for Fun. This is BMXL206. And I'm just going to be grabbing random images from this plate. This was shown in my haul as well. I'm going to be using my Born Pretty Store stamper, my Born Pretty Store scraper. And I'm going to be swatching on a handful of pop sticks that are painted half black and half white. Just so we can see how good each color show up. And I'm going to be swatching them in the Roy G. Biv order, the same order that I um, read you the names of the colors. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the purplier shade of pink. And I'm going to grab this image right here. 
and I can tell already that these seem much more opaque and much thicker than their other polishes from before. So there is the first color and as you can see it swatches beautifully over the white and it's fairly opaque over the black as well. Now I'm going to grab the orangey shade of, I don't know, the reddish orangish shade, I don't even know what to call it. I don't think I would consider it pink, but it's not orange or red either, it's like a cross between all three. So there it is on the stamper, also picks up beautifully. And once again, stamps beautifully over the white and the black. Next, I'm going to move on to the yellow. And I think I'm going to grab this image right here for that. And the yellow doesn't seem to be as opaque, but it's a very light color, so I'm not really shocked by that. But it swatched beautifully. Did have a little something on my stamper head right there, but that's okay. I can try to avoid it. There we go. And actually, it stamped very well over the black. I'm quite impressed, actually. I can't believe that it stamped so bright over that black. And you can see it over the white, but it's kind of hard because it's such a light color. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the green. And I think I'm going to grab the last three images from this buffet style part of the plate. Start right here. And the green doesn't seem to be as thick or opaque either, but the yellow surprised me, so maybe the green will too. And there it is on my stamper head. If you can see that, it's kind of hard to focus on. But maybe we'll be able to see it on the pop stick. Yeah, that's better. Very, very opaque over that black. Beautiful. Very vibrant, gorgeous. And once again, you can see it over the yellow, but it's a little hard because it's such a light color. I mean, over the white, because it's such a light color. I'm going to move on to the blue now. And the blue and the purple supposedly do not stamp over the white. That's what it says on the website because they're such dark colors. But um, I don't think that the blue or the purple is so dark that it won't show up. So we'll see. Picked up beautifully. Let's see how it swatches. beautiful over the the white and as you can see you can see it pretty well over the black it's definitely not too dark I mean it is a dark color so it would be a little bit more subtle but it does stamp beautifully over both and last but not least I'm going to the purple color now turn my plate a little bit for this part and this one seems a little bit deeper than the blue so this one might be a little hard to see but I still don't think it is that dark that it would cause an issue and there it is on my stamper and it doesn't seem super opaque on there but I've been surprised by this collection so and there it is and as you can see it stamps beautifully over the white and over the black you can see it sort of but it's definitely not opaque so let me go ahead and top coat all of these and I'll get you guys a close up.
Okay guys, so these are the finished Okay guys, so these are the finished swatches from the Star Slinger collection from Bundle Monster. And as you can see, they all stamp beautifully. They're beautifully opaque. Um, the blue and the purple, I can definitely see a lot better in person than it's showing up on camera now. Um, after I top coated it, um, if I have the lighting to where you can see it, the shine like reflects it away. So um, I do want to point out that this set is a little different than their previous stamping polish sets where you are not supposed to use these as regular polish. Um, these are specifically stamping polishes, and I think that they're beautiful. Um, I'm definitely very impressed with them. They've definitely stepped up their game, so. Okay, guys, so these are the finished swatches from the Bundle Monster Cosmic, what is it? Star Slinger. Okay, guys, so these are the finished swatches from the Bundle Monster Star Slinger Stamping Polish set. And as you can see, they stamp absolutely beautifully. Um, the blue and the purple is visible over black. It's a little bit hard to see on camera at this point. Um, I'm having a hard time getting it to where you guys can see it with the lighting. See? Now you can see it. And the same thing with the blue. Let me move this up close for you, too. You can definitely see it, as you can see there. Just for some reason, when I lay it flat, it kind of disappears and um, like washes into the background. It gets a little washed out there, but they all stamp absolutely beautifully, gorgeously opaque, um, much thicker than before. And these polishes, you're not supposed to use as regular polish, strictly stamping polish. So I think that they have definitely stepped up their game, and these work beautifully. If you're looking for some great neons to stamp with, I think this is a great set to check out. So I will link this set down below, as well as the plate that I stamped with. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, and of course, come back to see me next time. Bye!